कुमार सेन एंड इन दिस वीडियो टोटल यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट फीड पर टूथ यस सो बेसिकली बेस्ड ऑन दिस टॉपिक दे हैव ऑलरेडी एस क्वेश्चन इन गेट ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट टॉपिक आई मीन दैट क्वेश्चन आई एम शेयरिंग विद यू दिस टॉपिक सो बेसिकली वट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू इन दिस टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विद यू फी फॉर्मूलाज दोज आर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट फीड फॉर फीड पर टूथ एज वेल एज सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट लाइक सो वी नो दैट वी इज इक्वल टू बाई डी एन बाई वन थाउजेंड वन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दिस एंड अंदर वन इज फीड पर टीथ फॉर पर टूथ नॉट टीथ एक्जैक्टली टीथ इज प्लूडल सो लेट से एफ इज इक्वल टू वी हैव द फॉर्मूला दैट इज यू नो फीड इन ट्रांसवर्स ओके फीड इन ट्रांसवर्स डिवाइड बाई यू कैन दैट एन इन टू नंबर ऑफ टीथ नंबर ऑफ टीथ यू कैन से ओके सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट मी शेयर विद यू वट इज वी वी इज वेरोसिटी ओके सो बेसिकली नो दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑलरेडी एस्क फॉर कटर एनी कटर कटिंग मशीन ओके एनी कटर राइट सो एंड पाई यू नो द डी इज डायमीटर एंड इज अगेन आर पी एम एंड यू नो थाउजेंड इज इ that's because of change in its unit okay now most important this n i mean why these two formulas because they will relate these two formulas and they will tell you to find out feet per tooth okay how they relating they will tell you velocity and diameter you need to find out n from this formula and then find after finding out n you have to put that n here then only you can get the right answer so this is how these two formulas are most important if they are asking in question feed per tooth okay now let's go for that uh, you know uh, let's go for that question which has been asked in gate so basically what uh, uh, what question we have given and the question is just in front of you and you can read it so i am also going to read this question and probably you will also read with me so in this question what we have given a side and face cutter as i have shared with you 125 diameter so we have given diameter is equal to 125 mm okay has 10 teeth so number of teeth number of teeth is equal to 10 if it operates at a cutting speed v is equal to 14 meter per minute with a, a table of transverse that is ft is equal to 100 mm per minute so we have to find out feed per teeth per teeth let's say f is equal to we have to find out so what formulas i have shared with you right now let me show you again we have two formulas here right v is equal to pi dn pi dn by 1000 so what will do v is equal to pi dn by 1000 will write then what we can say n is equal to v in multiple 1000 pi d so v v is how much we have 14 into 1000 pi d is how much 125 don't need to change unit because already unit has been adjusted after multiplying 1000 into automatically it become that right so what we got what we got 14 multiple 1000 divided by pi multiple 125 sorry by multiple 125 so what we got here 35.6507 rpm revolution per minute well let's see the unit v is velocity meter per minute okay no need to do 1000 already we have given that's why we have given i'm, tell, I'm sharing with you diameter is in what diameter is in mm that's why we have multiple with 1000 to make all units in si and the time would be remain in minute that's why it will become rpm that's why the formula is this i mean if you are studying this formula then what i have shared with you that is also important right now let's move to the that formula which is most important i mean which is uh, going to help you to find out the answer that is feed per teeth is equal to ft divided by n into number of teeth number of teeth sometime it is also called z okay now ft we have given that is where is ft ft is 100 okay and we have given 35.6507 
and z we have given 10 so 10 10 okay 100 so 10 by 35.6507 let's solve this how much answer is getting i am here 10 divided by 35.6507 so answer we are getting here 0 0.280 0.280 right so this is feed per teeth so here is the right answer 0 0.280 so this is how you can you can uh, you can you know you can find out answer uh, of a question which is given now if you are going for any other question just like in cutting in cutting you know most important is that elements of machining cost i mean if you are going for preparation of this chapter then must remember machining cost machining cost play most important role and uh, I have seen most of the time in gate, you know, in gate till now, uh, maximum to maximum four times they have asked this question till now. And it's been around uh, uh, 25 years they have, uh, gate examination has been conducted, more than even 25 years, right? 16, 10, and um, yeah, 27, 28 years. So maximum four times they have asked this question till now. I, what I have papers, I mean, I have papers all examination. So I have seen, I did analysis. And four times they have asked this type of question but from machining cost and one important thing is that one important thing is that that is you know uh, that is shear plane angle shear plane angle and also Taylor's tool life Taylor's tool life yeah these topics these topics are most important because they have touched almost every year these topics almost every year they are touching these two topics so if you are preparing this manufacturing engineering for gate point of view then you should not leave these topics how to prepare well i have i have started sharing videos related to it okay so uh, definitely i will try to upload all videos that's why it will be quite helpful and will help you a lot to get good marks in gate and as well as if you are preparing for university examination then even I am cre I started creating videos to help you out and I am sure you are going to get best out of it okay so uh, this is these th three topics are most important okay now this is all about gate if I am talking about university examination suppose that you are preparing for university examination university examination okay I don't know you are studying production technology 1 or production technology 2 or even manufacturing process I don't know what which subject you are right now is studying or maybe material science okay you are studying maybe any one of these you are studying okay so it doesn't matter what subject you are preparing but in case of university examination as per my experience of about five years in university and college teaching university and college so uh, based on this experience I am sharing with you most of the time I mean I mean if you are not even preparing numericals you can get good marks right I mean you can easily get 60 marks if you are just uh, just listen to your lectures or professors properly in the classroom but what happened we do not keep we don't, don't focus on it in the classroom that's why we struggle and uh, anyhow we can manage to get 40 marks 40 to 45 marks so don't do, don't do this just try to start learning from beginning and if you'll start if you'll study for even 20 days daily one hour with proper concentration you can easily get good marks from these subjects so don't let it go this opportunity and just grab it it will help you a lot in future right second uh, how to prepare theoretical part because like, I wanted to share with you <laughs> I should not share it but uh, yeah no problem so theory theory play most important role first of all you need to have good writing skill well uh, from this video I got an idea I'm going to create another video and that would be more lengthy and more explanation with more explanation that's why you can understand each and everything how to prepare or how to write uh, engineering examination okay so that would be quite helpful but yeah let me show you share with you in brief theory examination for preparation you need to just remember key points and then after remembering all key points key points you need to understand what about the key points i mean what is inside that key points once you will come to know what is inside that key points things will be easier for you 
you can explain yourself and start explain writing yourself till that time you will not or not be uh, not you not enjoy you have to start explaining yourself in the examination that's the key to enjoy engineering i hope you understand the concept thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye